Hello. Hi, Patty. Hi, Meredith. Hi, how are you, honey? Good, how are you? I'm good. How's Cleveland? Cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So season five, we're excited. Oh, we're really excited. We're really excited. Every time, you know, that call comes in from Stephen Brown, who's my boss, I'm always thinking, oh, please don't say, well, it was a nice run. Yes, I was really glad when he said we had been renewed for season five. It's it's very exciting, too, because it's the first time since season one that we will all be together in L.A. because of oh. the pandemic. I stayed in New York. Right. They literally built me a studio in my basement so that I was safe. And then they came up with this plan B of pods in LA. So everybody had their own separate pod. And it it was a change of our format and it actually really worked well. People love that. So we're keeping that. Yeah. So you'll be in this, you won't be in the studio or you will? No, well, we will. And we, yeah, yeah, we'll all go to this studio or this stage in LA, but everybody will have their own spot still. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and then they, through the magic of television, create this image like um what's what was that show uh the brady bunch right yeah <laughs> or hollywood square is very similar right so uh, did yeah. you have a feeling that the show was going to take off as well as it did when you debuted you know, you know and I know, i'm not a glass half empty person but i don't like to you know count my chickens before they've hatched i knew i liked it i really liked it as a game um i had never heard of it to be honest with you uh, and it is a board game and has been out there for many, many years. Mary McCormick, the actress, she used to play it as a kid with her family. She introduced it, and she's from Michigan, actually, Midwest. She came back to LA with the board game. She introduced it to her friends, Lisa Kudrow and Dan Bukatinsky. Uh, Lisa and Dan have their own company together. And um, she said, you know, we've wanted to go into game. But this would be great. And they brought it to Fox and and... They said, okay, let's let's try. And they asked me if I would um, do the trial run for them. And I I like game. I did millionaire in syndication. Mm -hmm. So I went out there. But I, you know, I I you don't know. You don't know what they're gonna bite at, and you don't know what the budgets are, all that stuff that I don't even pay attention to. And then what do you know? We had season one in LA, and then I thought the pandemic might kill us, but they said, um, no, we're gonna we're gonna figure out a way. And that actually, in an odd way, was a blessing for us. Not that it wasn't a horrible time, but people were holed up in their homes and they were looking for an escape. And they're trolling the, you know, the everything on television and on the internet, looking for new content. And a lot of people discovered us during that period and sort of liked what they saw. They were entertained. It, it took them away from some of the problems that we were all were facing. And it was a, a half hour to just sort of do something different and, and laugh. So <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful that they stuck with us. It Which really is why is. we have the sweepstakes for our super fans because we want to say thank you. And it's our third season doing this. And the fans just go to our website and they they join, you know, they sign in. And if their name is pulled, they don't have to pay for anything, then um they get to play with us virtually. And we've handed out, Patty, to date, $176,000 to super fans in three wow. seasons. So I think that says thank you. I hope that says thank you. Yeah. They, <laughs> They definitely get excited when they win. and Oh, they're great. <laughs> they're even excited. You know, it's you can be very jaded in television. I've been doing it for so many years that it's just, it's my job. But most people, they haven't been on television. And it's it's just, it's a real fun thing to do. And you get to shout out to your family or your friends. It's just one of those kind of cool moments that that a lot of people would love to say that they had that opportunity. So at the end of the day, sure, they want to win. But they also want to hold up their dog, you know, yeah. and 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 just sort of gush a little bit, and and we love it. Even one fan uh, made a cake for the occasion. I saw. Yes, yeah, they <laughs> sure did. They we really get a lot of things that like that. Um, people are get really get into it. Um, they also had a lot of time on their hands too to be doing stuff like that. You <laughs> know for sure. But um, yeah, they you know people. It, it, I never take for granted that this show would not exist without them. And that's the truth. It could be a great show, but if nobody watches it, it ain't going to last very long. So I, I, I'm very cognizant of that. And I, I, tr I really appreciate the fact that they stick with us and show that support because these syndicated shows are sort of the little engine that could 
we're chugging along, hoping that we gain some traction and don't fall off the track. And and so far, knock on, that's my dining room table on wood. <laughs> um, you know, we're heading into season five. We start taping next month. It really does have those on the edge of your seat moments. So it yeah. is a fun show. Well, that's why I think why a lot of people like it because they it's interactive. They can play along. I, I can't tell you how many people have said to me, I was screaming at you last night. I'm like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm just yelling at the TV. Why aren't they getting this? I would have had a better clue or whatever it is. So, you know, armchair contestants, or I, I know I'm one of them, yeah. um, really get into it. And the celebrities are wonderful. They have a lot of fun. They're great. And I got to tell you, um, it's hard to be a celebrity and be on that show because it is not an easy game to play. It's deceptive. You have to be very quick because you've got a timer going against you. You've got a limited number of clue words that you can give to your partners to see if they'll get the answer. Uh, and and you you're thinking on your feet. You're not. It's not like you have we we go. You know we stop the tape and you get 20 minutes to think about it. It's in real time. Right. And you have to be good. I, I think I often use Melissa Peterman as our example because she's been with us since day one, um, and she's very competitive. She loves to play against either Greg Brunberg or Colton Dunn because all three of them are nuts about the <laughs> game and they take it so seriously. But they're also hysterically funny. So yeah. we and we find that with most of our celebrities, they can bring both both um, talents to the table so that we're sort of a comedy show disguised as a game show. A little bit of that. Yes. Melissa's our favorite here. We, a lot of great. us love Melissa. <laughs> yeah. She, well, she's also, I'm, if you don't know her, one of the kindest, most wonderful. It. She's exactly what you think she would be. And then some. She's just an amazing, and she's an amazing talent too. Yes. And every time she's on our show, Patty, she brings something new to the table. She brings props. Nobody asks her to do that. She just, oh, she's thinking like a producer all the time. What can I do to help elevate the show? Not what can I do to, to focus on me, but what can, meaning her, but what can I do to make the, the show um, more fun? And I can't, I really appreciate that tremendously. If she ever said she wasn't going to come for a season, I would just sit on her doorstep <laughs> until she, you know, came. But I think she really likes it. So Yeah, she shows you a lot of love for sure. Yeah, it's back <laughs> at her all the way. I had never met her before we started doing the show and we just instantly clicked. Um, as I have with most of the folks, you know, they're because they're, they're there because they want to be. That's the only reason you, particularly a new show, uh, in syndication, you have to want to be there for whatever reason. And, and, and they, they don't phone it in. So it's for me, it's a win-win. Well, we've had several super fans in our area win. So we're hoping again for this season. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, it's really easy. Like I said, you just go to the website and join the sweepstakes. I think you have till April 14th yes. to sign up. And then there's a random drawing and, Knock on wood, wood again. Um, I'll see some of your your folks out in the Cleveland area on our I show. Hope so, <laughs> well, we love having you. We've been with you for three seasons now. So, oh, we're all thank you here in Cleveland. Thank you. Thank <laughs> the you. Show does really well. We pair it with Pictionary. So yeah, that makes a, a nice game show block for us. Exactly. I think we've done very well. We've done show, shows in a block. Uh, I think people who like game like a lot of variety in game and they will go from one to the other. Mm -hmm. And and I think Pictionary is great and I'm I'm thrilled to be um, joined at the hip. Yeah, the game show genre is just really hot right now. So our, our viewers love all of our shows. Yeah, it is. And I think partly um, it's for reasons that I don't really know. I think there was the, the economics of game. It's It's not as expensive to reduce as, you know, scripted shows. I think that's why it sort of took off the way it did in terms of development. But I also feel that when times are tough and people just want, I'm saying before, a bit of escapism. They just want, they want something that's, I don't mean mindless because it isn't, but where, you know, it's just, it's for them. They can enjoy it. They don't have to, you know, worry about anything else because they're playing this game. It's a nice diversion. It's a really nice diversion. And then if they like it, they'll come back no matter what's going on in the world. Right. Well, we're so excited for season five and we thank you for your time. 
Thank you, Patty. You stay warm there. Okay, you too. <laughs> Thanks. Take care. Right. Okay, bye. Bye, hon. Hey, 25 words or less super fans. Our super fan sweepstakes has returned. You can do it! You'll be on air with Meredith, the celebs, correct, and the contestants. Enter to win at 25words.com. I'm at the Wow! Good luck and keep your streak alive. You just made $1,000 for Nikki at home. It's just so much. The lucky super fans will be chosen at random. If the contestants win $10,000, you win $1,000. Enter now.